Aris Commander 2016 can work with DGN files from MicroStation. We can go to the Insert tab where we find the command Import DGN. The dialog box is similar to the one for block insertion. We browse for the file that we want to import, click Open and define the insertion point. We can write the coordinate or specify it directly in the drawing. We also determine the scale and rotation. If required, we can even choose the view we want to insert. In this case, we only have one to choose from. Note that the file is inserted as a block. Press OK and perform a click to insert the drawing. Now we can work with the drawing directly in Aris Commander or save it as a DWG file. This way, we convert a DGN file into a DWG file with the same geometry. The drawing is inserted as a block. When selected, we can see that it behaves as expected for a block. However, thanks to the explode command, you can convert the block into separate editable entities. Layers and blocks of the original file and blocks with attributes are recognized. Just like texts. We can edit all of them directly in Aris Commander 2016. As a result, Aris Commander is now offering two different ways to work with DGN files. In previous versions, we could already insert a DGN file as an external reference. Now, in the 2016 version, we can alternatively import it directly into our drawing. The main advantage is that, after exploding the block, we may edit the entities directly in Aris Commander 2016. However, if we want to insert the DGN file without change and even keep the association with the original file, it is recommended to insert it as an XREF. If you do so, the DGN file may be edited in MicroStation and the drawing in Aris Commander will be updated automatically. Let's have a look. We go to the Insert tab, click on Reference Manager, and in the drop-down menu we select the option Attach DGN. Now we select the file we want as a reference. Click Open. This box appears, where we will be able to choose Insertion Point, Scale and Rotation. Among other options, we can even determine how we want to define the reference path, for example relative to the master file or the full path. Press OK. Now the DGN drawing is inserted as an underlay in our DWG file. This is different than when we used import DGN, because with import DGN, the geometry of the DGN drawing is imported and converted into entities that can be modified and saved in the DWG file. Alternatively, we used here attached DGN. As a result, the DGN is an external reference. We may add DWG entities on top, but any change made to the DGN file will be updated in our DWG file. Let's try it. In MicroStation, we will make some changes in the drawing. We remove some lines, stretch others and even change the position of a door. Then, after the modifications, we save the changes to the file Office Demo DGN. We return to the drawing in Aris Commander 2016 where we inserted the DGN file as an external reference. In the References palette, we select the DGN file and perform a right click to select Reload. And as you can see, the drawing is updated with the changes we made in MicroStation. With the import DGN command and attach DGN command, Aris Commander 2016 offers two complementary ways to maintain an optimal workflow with DGN files and the many users of Bentley MicroStation.
Feel free to visit the help section if you want to learn more about these two commands.